Dude, the way he the way he says turns and she turned into a black woman. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking nuts, bro. Dude. She oh. she decided to turn black. <laughs> like he pauses. And you ain't black. <laughs> it really is good to be back in Wisconsin. <laughs> it is so good to be back in Michigan. Listen, let me tell you, I am clear. The path to the White House runs right through this state. And listen, I am clear. The path to the White House runs right through this state. I took on perpetrators of all kinds. I took on perpetrators of all kinds and had a summer job at McDonald's. I had a summer job at McDonald's. So hear me when I say, so hear me, Detroit, when I say, I know Donald Trump's tight. I know Donald Trump's type. And are we ready to fight for it? And are we ready to fight for it? And when we fight, we win. I am the highest version of myself. I'm the, I'm the, I'm the highest version of myself. I am. I know I am that I Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Godspeed Podcast. I am one of your hosts, Joseph Guy Mead. And I am Danny. It's everything. I almost made you mess up your uh, toxin opening. My bad. Um, how's it going? It's crisp. <clears throat> Oh, it's going good, man. Um, Let me tell you about something real quick. Yeah. You ever, um, well, I know you don't, but in the past, you ever go out to eat or go get something, pick up some food somewhere, and they fucking forget something? Uh, it happened all the fucking time. And I'm, I'm, you know, I'm a, I'm a trustworthy guy. Like, I, I, I believe in people, so I don't usually check right away. And I uh, get home, come to find out. The one thing I specifically went for, they didn't give me. Hissed. Like what? Hissed off. That be. Yeah, dude, that you. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, go ahead. No, no. I want you to finish, and I'll add my. Uh... That being said, you know, while I'm there, I'm looking at the menu, and I order a couple extra, couple extra things, just because you know, like I'm not, I'm lazy. I don't feel like cooking all the time. So I'll get some extra stuff. Um, This particular time, I got some mango peach pies. Uh, You know, just... So, I'm not going to shout out the company, but because I forgot the one thing I went there for specifically, but... By the time I was done with that mango peach pie, I had forgiven them. Forgave them. Didn't even care. Keep... I would... Yeah? Is that good, That good. Completely. They had so much extra processed sugar in it that it was that good. It was huh? that good. Um, it was warm and crispy, and the, the filling, the mango peach was, ugh. So, that being said, if you're going to fuck up my order, yeah. the shit you give me better be good enough to make me forget about the things that you forgot. And they did. So, bravo. Nice. Yeah, bravo. Okay. They still stole your money, though. For, forgiven. That's how good it was. So your mango peach pie was probably like thirty dollars or something. Then. No, 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 no. They're like just little, little personal ones. Little, uh, little personal ham pies. Uh, you know, like McDonald's has those I you went to apple like pie a, type restaurant. deals. No, this was like fast food. You know how McDonald's uh, has like the apple pies. This place has mango yeah. peach ones. And they're fucking okay. chef's kiss. You know they what? Promote poison on this show. You know why they do chef's kiss, right? Okay. Do you know why? Okay. Well, you just because it, it was delicious. It looks like I don't know, I mean, it looks like a butthole, and you kiss it, it opens up. Chef's kiss. So uh, that used to happen to me all the time because I, I used to eat fast food, fucking eight times a day. Mm-hmm. Not eight times. I'm exaggerating. Six. Um, but it used to happen with barbecue sauce all the fucking time. I don't eat food. Without barbecue sauce. So if you forget the barbecue sauce and I got to go home and use sweet baby fucking Ray's or fucking 
Bullseye. Famous Dave's barbecue sauce. It doesn't taste like the food that I was planning on eating because I specifically went there because I know that this barbecue sauce goes really good with this and it, it just tasted so much fucking different. No matter what. Right. They, they didn't give me barbecue sauce. I, it pissed me off. You didn't forgive them afterwards. Did you ever find a cool combo that like <laughs> this barbecue sauce? Did you ever eat McDonald's barbecue sauce barbecue sauce with like um, no, I used to eat Wendy's barbecue sauce with a lot of shit though. Whoa. Wendy's barbecue sauce is the fucking tits, dude. Okay, it's the best barbecue sauce you will ever eat. I don't eat this oh, shit anymore. Whoa, 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 whoa! All right, let, hold on. Let's do let's do Mount Rushmore of uh, condiments. You you do barbecue sauce. I'll do uh, mayo. Top four, like the best barbecue sauces. Yeah. That's what you're asking me to do right yeah, now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're going to we'll list them. We'll go back and forth. You start. I'll, you'll be number one. I'll go two. I'll get number two. And I'll get my first pick, my second pick. You'll get your second pick, your third pick, and we'll go back and forth. You do barbecue okay. sauce. I'm going to do mayo. Wendy's would be one. Okay, well, you got to you gotta go with Hellman's, obviously. For what? Mayo. I'm doing mayo. You're doing barbecue sauce. Oh, you're doing mayo. Because I don't need barbecue sauce. Mayo. All mayo tastes the same to me. Okay. Weirdo. Yeah. Uh, so my second one would be we're doing four because it's fresh. Yeah, more, right? more, yeah. Uh, my second one would probably be Ruby Tuesdays, but I don't even think there's like one Ruby Tuesdays left. I think if that, I think I saw something yeah. where there's one here. There's one here. I saw I, some the other day. They're closing like I think all of them soon. Probably, yeah. yeah. But their their barbecue sauce is amazing. They had this colossal burger. I remember. Do they Bro. still have the Ruby Tuesdays out in Oswego? I can't believe I'm talking good about poison. What? They had a Ruby Tuesdays in Oswego. Probably. Okay. I used to go to the one in... I mean, you lived in Oswego. I didn't. I used to go to the one in Carousel. Okay, so... And then I used to go to the one in Great Northern. Mm-hmm. And, you know... Yeah. The last one I ever went to was actually in Las Vegas. Oh. Last time I ever had it. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm two. I'm gonna go best foods mayo. But, oh, that's a brand. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah, brand. yeah. Okay, pretty sure. Oh, so you're, you're picking like mainstream brands here. Yeah, yeah. Um, actually, I'm going with the brand too. The third would be uh, famous Dave's. Uh, is it sweet and tangy? You tell me. I don't eat it. Well, that's the kind. It's called sweet and tangy. But they got like different levels of hot like they got double spit which is like the hottest you could have gotten but you know i'm gonna go with QP for my number three pick it's japanese okay. japanese mayonnaise they use no seriously they use a ton of uh egg yolks as to where like uh regular mayo it's that they use the whole egg from QP uses it it's like super super rich they use it in a lot of like their sushi toppings and stuff like that okay okay Hey, I know my mayonnaise, man. What do you want me to do? Uh, my fourth. Yeah. Denny's. Denny's. I didn't see that coming. Denny's barbecue sauce. That's a wild card. Denny's barbecue sauce. Sleeper is pick. Bomb. Sleeper pick. I like it. <laughs> Denny's barbecue <sighs> sauce is really, really good. You're not going to see this one coming. You ready? Yeah. Mayo, Ireland. Heard it's that. uh you know you do your ancestry or your 23 and me i found out a lot of my ancestors are from mayo ireland so that's my number four sleeper pick you picked a country yeah or it's, or, uh, it's, it's not a country it's like but a, my a city township city who knows i've never been there but it's where my ancestors not, are from but it's not the food but it is a mayo it's called mayo want to know how i know i'm white okay we'll go with dukes we'll go with dukes just to be fucking fair you weirdo. Oh, f- fuck. Huh? I picked the city of barbecue sauce. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro, bet you would have wanted to go there had you still been in it back in the day. And it was a real place, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, because they probably specialize in good barbecue well, sauce I there. bet Mayo Ireland has some... I bet you they don't. <laughs> probably. You're probably right. I bet you don't even have Mayo there because Ireland is way more clean than us here. Don't eat any of the barbecue sauces I listed. Don't eat any of the mayo he listed. It's poison. It will hurt you. 
Hey, man, I'm not here to push an agenda. Eat what you want. I'm not here to push an agenda either. I'm just telling you the facts and truths of the world. Facts and truths. Facts and truths. <laughs> facts and truths, baby. <laughs> You're such a freak, dude. <sighs> Gotta be listening off the top four barbecue <laughs> sauces and shit. Anyways, what's our topic today? <laughs> yeah, what's our topic this week, buddy? We're talking about Kumquinla. What? Kumquinla? Mm, never heard of it. What's that? Kamala Harris. She's the Kum Queen. <laughs> Are you trying to cackle like her? <laughs> Look retarded. So does she? She does. She is. Where in the world is Kamala Harris? Yeah, she hasn't... Uh... Where in the world is Kamala Harris? Where in the world is Joe Biden? That's a that's the best question, because we haven't seen him since uh, he went to Vegas, and he put out that, you know, video. The ransom note? Um, when he put out the ransom note saying that he's stepping down? Yeah. That said, uh, do you remember the TV show, Where in the World is Carmen Sandiego? Yeah. Do you remember the the, the, the commissioner lady or the, the, the lady? the? I remember the like the opening. I don't remember like any of the episodes. It's been too long, way too long, bro. Uh, I Sorry. remember the uh, the lady who would like. I don't. I think she was a police commissioner or something like that. I I get every time I see Campbell Toe Harris, uh, I just think of that lady for some reason. I don't know why. So, okay. Anyways. All right. First, we're gonna be going over like her record. Her past mm. in like politics. You think she celebrated Diwali? Stuff like that. I do. I do. I think she celebrated exactly like Michael Scott. <laughs> she walked in with a big ass fucking hat <laughs> on her shoulder. <laughs> um, <laughs> probably. Uh, <laughs> all right. Here's the first video. You know, the power I have as a prosecutor is that with a swipe of my pen, I can charge someone with a misdemeanor, the lowest level offense possible. And by virtue of that swipe of my pen, you will have to go to a courthouse and stand in line. You will have to come out of pocket and hire an attorney. You may get arrested for a few hours. You will be embarrassed in your community. You will miss time from coming onto the Google campus. All because with the swipe of my pen, I've tried to charge you with a crime, which I may choose to dismiss two weeks later. It's an incredible amount of power. That's called a dictator. You know what they say about um, when people get power, right? They never want to give it up. Yeah. That's why the elites are acting a fucking fool lately. You know? Yeah. All right, let's keep going. Thank you, your gun control agenda? Yeah, I think it's a great idea, but I mean, listen, I, I don't think we lack for great ideas. As I've said many times, we've been having great ideas for decades. The problem is that Congress has not had the courage to act. And that is why, from the beginning, I have said, my agenda includes attempting to get Congress to act, but if they don't within the first 100 days of my administration, I'm going to take executive action. Because what we need is action. She wants to take your guns, bruh. Fuck that bitch. Come and take them. She said, take all of them. Come and take them. Congress don't act. She's taking them. Come and take them. She's gonna. I lost all mine in a <laughs> boating accident, but come and take them. And when you aim it at her, she's gonna try to seduce you. It'd be like, oh, but you don't need the gun. She's a whore. All right, let's keep going. We'll get into it. Uh, here's some more of her policies and shit. What else? Are you going to do to fix this problem with inflation? All right, thank you. Well, let's start with this. <laughs> uh, prices have gone up, and families and individuals are dealing with the realities of, of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more. Mm -hmm. And we have to understand what that means. That's about the cost of living going up. That's about having to stress 
and stretch limited resources. That's about a source of stress for families that is not only economic, but is on a daily level, something that is a heavy weight to carry. So it is something that we take very seriously, very seriously. And we know from the history of this issue in the United States that when you see these prices go up, it has a direct impact on the quality of life for all people in our country. So it's a big issue, and we take it seriously. And it is a priority there. Uh, did hold she on. answer hold the on, question? Hold on. hold on. What was yeah. the question? How are you going to fix the economy? <laughs> How are you going to fix inflation? It's a priority. It's a priority. Yep. Yeah, but what, what is she going to do to fix it? She knows that the cost of living goes up, the cost of bread goes up. You gotta, it affects people, it stretches, that's why it's a priority. Yeah. Okay, yeah. She's the queen of but what is she saying gonna... nothing, bro. She says nothing. Yeah. <clears throat> Word salad. <laughs> Here's the next one. What specific actions do you plan to take to administer reparations, reparations. for this unpaid labor? Right. So um, I'm actually supporting a bill. Um, there's a congresswoman by the name of Sheila Jackson Lee that is um, that has written this bill out of the House, which I'm supporting to study exactly what should be the response to your question. But to your point, and to to just support your point, look, we had centuries of slavery in this country. We had decades of of Jim Crow. We had legalized discrimination and segregation. And then we had de facto discrimination and segregation. And to believe or suggest that those years of, of treatment and abuse and violence and crimes did not have an impact is to overlook the facts of history. And for that reason, I support the legislation and what we need to do to think about specifically what it means in terms of the next steps. But I thank you for that question. Senator, yes or no, do you support financial reparations? I, I support that we study that. We should study it. Reparations is retarded because <clears throat> not one fucking person alive right now was a slave. Was a slave. Not one person alive today owned a slave. So fuck your reparations! Sorry, go ahead. Um, so about that. I, I, don't dis <laughs> I don't disagree with, you know, that you know, the years of slavery may have had an impact or did have an impact. That being said, to your point, not one person who would be paying those reparations, i.e. the American taxpayer today, had anything to do with slavery. I didn't have anything to do with it either. So why, right, why would it be fair that the current American population pay taxes to then pay reparations? Just like why would... Somebody like me who never went never went to college, should my tax dollars go to pay off student loans? Why should my like I didn't I didn't accumulate student loans. Why should I have to pay for somebody else's student loans? Yeah. Cuz they chose to I'm go chose to go to school and end up getting a job where they not even using their degree making less than me who didn't go to college. I don't get it. Huh? So Bro, stop paying your taxes. It's not it's not legal anyway. We talked about that. <laughs> <laughs> ah. Here's more on inflation. No, he did a great job laying that out. And it's true. Young people in our country are struggling. Black young people, white young people, Hispanic young people. They're all struggling with the affordability crisis. But people need to know 
that the reason we had this massive inflation is because Kamala Harris was the tie-breaking vote mm -hmm. as vice president of the United States. Mm -hmm. She walked into the Senate chamber. She voted for this massive inflation when Joe Biden and Kamala Harris decided they wanted to spend trillions more dollars in an economy that was ready to come back to life after COVID-19. That started the massive inflation, which has destroyed the purchasing power of so many young people in our country and so many families in our country. Donald Trump is 100% correct on that. Bidenomics, baby. Biden, Bidenomics. Bidenomics. Yeah, we got something on that coming, too. Mm. Um, yeah, dude, she's just, she's the fucking worst. And uh, uh, even pieces of shit like Dr. Phil are going to go off on her right now. Dr. Phil's a piece of shit? Yeah. We'll be right back. Google. Uh, don't Google. Uh, go on the internet and search Skinwalker Ranch. And then you'll know about Dr. Phil. So I think he's controlled opposition just like uh, Joe Rogue's. Oh, so. speaking of, you won't like Joe Rogan's new special. I know I won't. <laughs> You, you, I bet you would like 90% of it, and then he talks about Flat Earth, and you wouldn't like it. Anyways, sorry. He's an idiot that doesn't do any research. Sorry. Joe Rogan's an idiot that doesn't do any research. I got done. He says, like, I got done watching that, and I thought the moon landing, I, I thought the moon landing was didn't happen. Or some sh I saw, like, a fucking clip of it. He's a clown. This is Dr. Phil. Hey, wait, speaking of Dr. Phil, have you watched Dr. Phil live? Live? It's a it's a show on YouTube called Dr. Phil Live, a stand-up comedian impersonates Dr. Phil, and it's no. fucking hilarious. It's really funny. Okay. Go check out Dr. Phil Live with Adam Ray. It's fucking funny. <clears throat> okay. I'll check it out. Yeah. We'll be right I'm back. Curious. <laughs> I'll take it from here. Electricity, 25% increase. Auto insurance up 33%. Used cars up 35%. Hotels up 15%. Groceries. This matters up 25%. And this is a big one. You need $11,434 additional just to maintain the same living standard that you had in 2021. Did y'all get a raise? No. no. <laughs> Between now and then? But th that's what's happening. Rent is up 30%. Mm. Mortgage rates doubled. Mm. It's getting worse, Mortgage not rates. better. That's wild. So what do you tell yourself about what you're going to do, how you're going to go about climbing out of this? Because we're headed in the wrong direction. All that, ladies and gentlemen, and everyone else, that is called Bidenomics. That is called Bidenomics, and we are very proud of Bidenomics. No, I bet you. We are very proud of Bidenomics. <laughs> you sound just like her, bro. You're so good. <clears throat> She's a nice lady. Bless her heart. <laughs> Bless her heart. Bless her heart. Yeah, bro. Um, then, so, she... When she was a prosecutor, mm -hmm. she was the fucking worst mm -hmm. in the interwebs. He's trying to scrub it off. Here's the thing. The internet Did doesn't forget. Kamala Harris wipe her drug sentencing record clean from the internet? I wanted to find out how that, many people but... Kamala Harris had sent to jail for marijuana-related offenses during her time as a prosecutor. I couldn't find it on the internet anywhere, so I asked ChatGPT. I said, how many people did Kamala Harris prosecute for marijuana? It said that she handled over 1,900 <laughs> marijuana-related convictions. So I asked the AI engine for sources, and each source was valid, except the one related to how many convictions her office actually handled. ChatGPT cited the Washington Examiner, and when I clicked the link, I was given an error 404, this webpage does not exist. I asked if it could provide me with some more links, and so it did. It cited PolitiFact, Democracy Now, and Marie Claire. So I clicked the PolitiFact link. This webpage does not exist. Democracy Now, the page you're looking for, doesn't exist. Marie Claire, sorry, error 404. Every other time that I've used ChatGPT to gain sources, the links have always worked. It's only with this specific claim, this specific piece of information, that every single source that at one time made this claim has taken their webpage. So she's scrubbing that shit, bro. 
Well, about that. I mean, everybody already knows, uh, and it was it was widely known when she became vice president, uh, what her record was as a prosecutor in California. Yeah. She she prosecuted more uh, African Americans uh, for marijuana than almost anybody ever. She kept them, admittedly, kept them in jail for longer than needed because of, i.e., cheap labor, yep. aka modern day slavery. Um, yeah. Well, we do that every day, but yeah. But I mean that—that's real yeah. modern day slavery, right? You're in jail and you're having to work for free. Um, yeah. So yeah, she's. A, I mean, she's a good person. She she's yeah. a good person, and she's definitely yeah. she's definitely for the blacks. She is. Hundred percent. She is. Um. Last week, the reason we're doing Kamala. First, I'll just say this: the reason we're doing Kamala is because last week you said you were worried. Dude, I woke up today to even wor- more worrying news. They have her. Well, they have her even in the polls with Trump right now. The polls are bullshit. The polls are bullshit every year. Why do you care about the polls? I say this every time to you. <laughs> the polls are bullshit, dude. I'm just telling you, they got her even with. Those- There's never been a correct poll ever. Uh, the reason I bring They're it up, all Trump, the mainstream media bullshit. The re- the reason I bring it up. Everybody, get out and vote. Go vote, everyone. Everyone needs to vote. Because if if you think that, oh, Trump's got it in the bag and you're going to stay home because you don't need to vote, you're part of the problem. Yeah. I mean, there's tons of celebrities that I used to think were the fucking greatest. Here's Ben Stiller. Uh, um, I just want to let you know I'm going to match your $150,000 donation. Oh. That's cool. Okay. Just get, gonna... get the ball rolling. Cool. Good. Gonna put the house up for sale. Um, yeah, I I know what you're thinking. Probably another funny guy here to tell you why to vote for Kamala Harris, but I feel like I'm different because I'm not a comic. You know, I'm an actor. I need um, another role. I played Derek Zoolander. I was in Dodgeball. I got my dick stuck in my zipper 25 years ago. If you're old enough to get that reference, so that movie was funny though. I know it whereof really I funny. speak. You can trust me. <laughs> This is where I imagine thousands. Bro, of my favorite comedy was Along Came Polly. So I'm just waiting. Interesting choice. Uh, I'm I'm I laughing. love that fucking movie. Thank you. No, you know, seriously, I'm not. I'm here because I, you know, I'm so genuinely excited about the potential to actually win this election. Uh, what's happened in the last couple of weeks, just the the turning of the tide, and that you know, Vice President Harris can actually win this thing. If we all just rally around and, and, and really take advantage of this incredible energy that's happening. Um, and I just I believe in everything that she's you know standing up for. You know, she wants to put an end to gun violence in the country. There's a Zoom tomorrow night about uh, gun violence. And uh, so that's why everybody's got to get out and vote and donate. Um, and she's also a, a historic candidate. You know, it's going to be the first woman president. Um, and that's incredibly exciting. And, you know, she's Indian, she's black, she's everything. You can be more than one thing. It's incredible. You know, I'm Jewish and Irish. Um, I wish I was black. Every white Jewish guy what wishes he was fuck? black. Um, what the fuck? You know, yeah, dude, he's a clown. Okay. And this is a list. Go ahead. No, go ahead. No, this is a list of all the people that have joined Ben Stiller in comics for Kamala. Hold on, I gotta look and at this. If you uh, like any of these people, uh, they're paid shills and bought by the government, and they're actively trying to ruin your life. So John Stamos, last time I saw him, he was on a podcast. That guy was fucking on more cocaine than what's <laughs> washing up in Florida currently. Um, okay. I don't know if you fucking Rosie. Who cares about Rosie Down? Craig Robinson. He. Oh man. Um, I don't care about any of these people. All right. Well, here's another. Here's another one. Oh boy, they might have the same people on yeah, this it's one. The same people. But there's no. There's different people on the list, but it's about the same people yeah. around. Oh, everything. DL Hughley. Hold on. Who's on the outside? Go back one. I want to see who's on the outside and look at that. Ah, uh, Jason. Jason John Bateman. Hamm. No, not Jason Fuck Bateman. Yeah, Jason Bateman. Jason Bateman was outed in 2020, bro. I don't really care Pat about Pat Oswald, the yeah, little fucking pedophile. Yeah, he's a fucking pedophile. 
Tiffany Haddish is funny, but I don't really care about him. Uh, who? Uh, Tiffany Haddish. She's funny. I don't know who that is. Only ca- person I really care about there is... Uh, Wait, who's that one? Um, uh, Jason Bateman. No, yeah, Jason Bateman. He's the only person on that list I give a any fucks about because this TV show is really There's good. a bunch of people on the list that I used to fucking think were great. No, I think they're a bunch of fucking what, clones. Want to know what I, I think is hilarious, though, about this What's whole that? these whole Zoom calls um, that Kamala's doing? You know what I'm going to say? Because you're smiling already. No, I'm smiling because the next video is fucking hilarious. Uh, it's going to offend uh, so many people. What, <laughs> it, what, it, what is the Democratic Party all about, right? Or what do they talk about being about? Unity and acceptance and Right? Yeah. Do you know what the name of all of her uh all of her um Zoom calls were? What? Black bitches for Kamala was one. White women oh. white women for Kamala was another one. Yeah. White, it's, all about, white men, it's all identity. Uh huh. Separating them. Yeah. It's it's segregation for inclusion. Yeah. Uh there is <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> Here's another video that, like I said, is going to offend a lot of people. But I think it's fucking hilarious because you don't expect it. It's just fucking out of nowhere. You ready? Yeah. White dudes for Harris. Let's see what they look like. Just as I suspected, bunch of faggots. (laughs) Yep. Tell me you fucking expected that, bro. <laughs> like, yo. Holy shit. Dude, I started fucking dying. <laughs> like, oh, holy shit. Just as I suspected. <laughs> oh, I like her. Tulsi Gabbard's a shit. Yeah. She was a... Uh, she's, now, here's the thing. The chick that said a bunch of faggots is not Tulsi Gabbard. It's no, no, the no, next no, no. video yeah, that yeah. has Tulsi Gabbard. So, <laughs> those of you who don't know who Tulsi Gabbard is, she's... Democrat. Uh, well, she was uh, ex yeah. ex military. She was in I I don't know. She was either in the Navy or the Marine. I don't know. She was ex military. Served her country. Yeah. Uh, was a politician from Hawaii. Um, registered Democrat for a long time. Was at a party. She told her story. Uh, was at a party and said the Demo- you know leaders of the Democratic Party came up to her and said, "Hey, we're all voting this way." And she's like, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! That doesn't do anything to help my my con- the people I look out for." The- yeah. And they're like, oh, yeah, well, guess who's uh, part of that Russian collusion now? And they put that on her. <laughs> so yeah. since then, she's left the Democratic Party. But, you know, I, I first off, respect almost every veteran, right? Well, just anybody who's willing to sacrifice themselves, their life um, for my freedoms. Get, first of all, you get a ton of respect there. Um, But then to go into office and stand up what's for right for the people who put you in office that's what being uh, a politician is supposed to be about so for her doing that she gained my respect again bro i thought i i thought i I was hoping for jfk i thought she was gonna be vp that would have been sick bro i i 100 was like yo he's gonna pick tulsi fucking gabbard and everyone's gonna be shocked about it he didn't uh he picked some fucking clown named jd vance but (laughs) you know um, oh uh, see i'm have you watched any interviews with him? Dude, I was uh, I've I've seen this dude since 20 fucking tw- like before 2020. He's not he's ugh, just I, I don't know, man. I, I got to get over the shit that I've seen him talk about in the past cuz supposedly he's changed his opinions on shit, but I'll send you a video. Um, I'll send you a link. Didn't I send you one the other day on him? He did, he was on a podcast just recently. Yeah, I, I have issues with it. The old fucking JD Vance, and I'm just I'm wondering why they chose. I'm just wondering why they chose him when there's so many Tulsi Gabbard's a way better fucking pick. You know what yeah. I mean? Like there's way better picks out there than a fucking never Trumper. You know what I mean? Well, he's in the the video I sent you. He's he talks about that exactly. He's like, you know, um, how about you just play the? I mean, it doesn't really pertain to this episode. Just watch, uh, watch the dude. It's an hour long. Watch the podcast I sent you, because I thought okay. the same thing, and he explains exactly why he thought the way he did and why he is who he is or how he thinks now. I should let it go, dude, because I have tons of friends that used to fucking despise Trump, wouldn't vote for him, and now they're all like 
I don't know what the fuck I was thinking. So they it, brainwashed it, me. It, so yeah, it's dude, the same. I'll it's just the same I'll deal. paraphrase. He says that you know back back then he listened to the media. He didn't know any better, and you know as time's gone on, he's seen what the media does to uh, most politicians, and got to know Trump, got to know what he's actually about, and admits that you know he was wrong, and was like, as any person who thinks and gets new information, I am allowed to change my opinion on things. That's what. Yeah, that's what a thinking person does is they gain information yeah. in, in, you know, so <clears throat> that's just the, you know, that's me paraphrasing. But like I said, I just hated him before, so it's probably still there, but it is what it is. Yeah. I'm, I guess I, I don't hate him. I guess I'm just more shocked that he was the pick, basically. And I, I people are people should change their fucking minds. I've changed my mind. Thousands of times, right? In the last few years, so. But I, I, um, I agree. Uh, I think anybody who is uh, I, secretly, I think he was picked because uh, of his his extreme stance on certain things, which doesn't help Trump. I think Trump should have went with a more moderate and would have won the fucking American people over ten times. Any, I'm telling I mean, you, he's any. If either of these, if she had, if fucking Harris had taken a moderate, somebody. You know, on that side, but was very moderate, or Trump had taken somebody very moderate, absolute fucking landslide. I guarantee it, dude. That's what uh, the most most of the country is. Is fuck. We're all moderates, bro. We just yeah. You Trump, know, Trump won. Trump already won the election. The only reason why we're doing this episode is for the people that are voting for Kamala because she's got a fucking vagina and she's black in the loosest terms possible Dude, i hope you have the video on here where she from when she was in uh georgia or fucking atlanta yeah she was in atlanta just recently and she starts talking with a southern slang like she's from we'll georgia see. oh my god dude we got more coming here's just a not sure if you guys caught this but uh msnbc was exposed today for yet another set of lies they deceptively edited together this video of different joe rogan comments to make it appear that he was singing the praises of Kamala Harris. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. She is a strong woman. She is uh, a person who served overseas twice She in a medical unit. So she was a congresswoman for eight years. Yeah. She is a person of color. She's everything you want. She's going to win. No, she's not. She can win. They just want no Trump no matter what this is not reflective at all he's talking about her truth of what Part joe of rogan said uh and i think msnbc has since taken this post down but what's really serious here is that not only does joe rogan deserve an apology there's actually something far bigger at stake here this is yet another example of how msnbc is working hand in glove with the democrat elite <laughs> and the kamala harris campaign uh, to try to spread lies, sim simply things that are not true. So what this means is MSNBC is a for-profit corporation. They are helping Kamala Harris's election campaign. And what they are doing through their platform would qualify as an in-kind contribution to her campaign. It's worth a lot of money. Uh, the fact that they are doing this should require the Federal Elections Commission that manages campaign spending and campaign finance to require them to report this as an in-kind campaign contribution or to be punished for abusing their position in trying to use their platform that has nothing to do with journalism. It is purely a propaganda platform and that they are using this in order to try to help Kamala Harris get elected. These people need to be held accountable for what they're doing because otherwise they will continue to do this, continue to abuse their platform and their power to try to deceive the American people and help her get elected. Like they do every single other election. Agreed. Every single other one. There's no difference. So they've been doing it. We just have been blind to it. It's just obvious now. Last election, they the, the government stifled the release of the, the uh, laptop. Hunter, yeah, Hunter. And we uh, all know, but by, had everybody Biden. known about fucking Hunter's laptop with all the, the pedophilia, the the crack smoking, the bullshit with Ukraine, go figure. Let's be honest. Let's be honest, though. Joe Biden didn't win. 
He lost the shit out of that election. Watch watch a thousand mules, and that is like three percent of how they stole it. Anyway, I'm just saying the the media. Yeah. No, the, I get I get it. The media it. has a stake in who wins because yeah, especially the Hollywood. You know, they're they're yeah. That's why there's comics for Trump, and, right. or comics for Trump, comics for Harris, and white dudes for Harris, and retards for Harris. There's really only one category, and it's retard. It, there's only one category. It's retards for Harris. Well, I mean, I say misinformed. You say what you want. <clears throat> Listen, Joe, we're trying. To, we're, oh, we're trying to get oh, him back oh, on oh, our oh, side. Oh, oh. We're trying to get him back hey. on our side. Calling him retards not going to help. I'm trying to get who back on our side? These people who are misinformed for Harris. No, no, no. If you're literally going to vote for the person who runs the country. And you're not informed, but you're going to go vote. You're a retard. Hey, here's a video of Democrats hating on Harris before. There are reports that say that you have the lowest approval rating of any vice president. Well, there are polls that also say I have great approval ratings. (laughs) Swing voters don't like Harris. How big a drag is Kamala Harris on the ticket? She's a pretty big drag. I think she was arguably... Biden's worst political decision. They don't like her. There's lots of reasons they don't like her. Kamala Harris's approval rating is now at 28%, which is uh, an historic low for any modern vice president. We're hearing it from mainstream media. Uh, One Mm -hmm. outlet after another. One leak after another. Uh, Kamala Harris is the worst vice president ever, the worst politician ever. We don't see the vice president. What, what people are saying to me, and I'm sure they're saying it to you, where is the vice president? Some White House officials are feeling that, that she came off looking unprepared for inevitable questions about when she, she might the visit the southern that border. That was on CNN. been to the border. You haven't been to the border. I know. I, and I haven't been to Europe. And I, I mean, I don't, I don't understand the point that you're making. The point that Lester Holt was making was, was this obvious is to anyone else who was watching this interview, <laughs> which is that the issues at the border are inextricably linked with the portfolio that she's been given. The border is secure. We have a secure border. Bidenomics is working. Uh, prices have gone up. <laughs> and... Families and individuals are dealing with the realities of of the, that bread costs more, that gas costs more, and we have to understand what that means. That's about the cost of living going up. He picked Kamala Harris to be his running mate. She was ranked and is ranked as the most liberal senator in the United States Senate. So he could have gone the other way, but he went he went to the left. Joe Biden is running for re-election, and I will be his ticket mate. Full stop. Full stop. Sit. So even Democrats hate her. Is that San Diego? Now they've all changed their tune. That's San Diego, no? Probably. No, Los Angeles. Are you sure? Yeah. Okay. All right. That looks now, like here's the, a... That looks like that spot in San Diego. Mission Mission Beach. I could be wrong. <clears throat> Do you see underneath the... Uh, oh. On the bottom there? <laughs> uh, it could be San Diego, and they're just from Los Angeles. But here's a couple people that... Uh, just regular people. Trump or Kamala Harris? I, I have something to say. Say it. I spent the last 12 years living in San Francisco. Kamala Harris's policies were the detriment of the entire city. I am a Democrat through and through, but Kamala Harris's policies were the detriment to San Francisco. When you did the math and you saw that it was $60,000 per homeless person and nobody actually had a real way of finalizing and fixing the situation, there was only two options. Do we blame it on Gavin Newsom or do we blame it on Kamala Harris? Kamala Harris laundered a lot of money trying to fix homelessness. Can I tell you right now, I've been a Democrat my whole life, and this will be the first year that I ever vote Republican because Kamala Harris, her policies are awful. Trump 2024, we want you, man. one thing that people can't do, and that's convinced me that Kamala Harris is better than Trump. You can't convince me that. 
you cannot convince me of that. One, she tries to pander to black people, even though she locked up countless black people while she was a prosecutor in California. Not only that, she supported laws in allowing black people to be locked up past their time for jail labor. On top of that, she locked up black families because if their kids didn't go to school for a certain time, she just was like, hmm, just lock them up. So no, I, I, I can't support her. And if you say, well, it's because she's a black woman and this, that, and the third. Well, she didn't own her blackness until she was running for vice president. And her family owned slaves. So there's that. But, you know, black power. <laughs> uh, you know, black power. That girl needs to say it louder for the people in the back. <clears throat> yeah. You know, yeah, she's very quiet. You can tell there's like other people in her house. And she's like, didn't want to be too loud, so she's like, mm. I'll turn it up. Uh, here's one more. So would you vote for it? Yeah. Why? I, I'm going to just be real honest with this. She's a black woman. Yeah. <laughs> Cause, cause <laughs> <they're> only, <laughs> only because she a black woman? Yeah. Let, but that, let's put sex array in the office. She's not black, friend. She's not black. Why only because of that? Because I would love to see a woman in office. Oh, shit. Why? I want to give us a shot. I'm on everything, on my on my father's grave. I am so broken right now, man. You don't, do you not see the, how that's, how that's a bad idea? We're in three proxy wars. She failed at the border. She has no policy, no record to stand on. One of the biggest things that she did in her career was lock up okay. more black men than ever before. But we sitting here and voting her, voting her, vote her in office on identity politics. So uh, you're worried that people are like, yeah, black woman, there's some idiots, but then there's a lot of the black people. Most black people are for Trump anyway. You know, it's the media lies to you. I'm telling uh, you, dude, the shit you see on social media and the media in the mainstream media, it's all bullshit. They're lying to you. They show you the, the fucking outlier and make everybody believe that that's what's going on. Same thing. That's how they do it with the trans shit. Look at all these trans people. They're everywhere. No, they're not. They're like less than 1% of the population. But they fucking throw them in your face on the Olympics and everywhere to make you think that that's what we should be doing. We should be wearing fucking dresses and getting implants and chopping our fucking cocks off. That's what, the, that's what they do. They show you a small, tiny portion of something and then they blow it up in front of everybody else. And then people like you believe that that's what's going on i don't mean to say like you i that was that, that wasn't meant to be like yeah, an insult that was an insult it, it didn't you know what to be. you know what i didn't mean it to be because you're the one that made me say this statement so like I, even black people are like she's not black yeah baby <laughs> yeah um it, speaking of which mm. Some of your own supporters, including Republicans on Capitol Hill, have labeled Vice President Kamala Harris, who is the first black and Asian American woman to serve as vice president and be on a major party ticket, as a DEI hire. Is that acceptable language to you? And will you tell those Republicans and those supporters to stop it? How do you, tell them to how stop. Do you define DEI? Go ahead. How do you define diversity, it? equity, inclusion? Okay, yeah, go ahead. Is that what your definition? Give that me, is that. That give, is. Give me a definition the then. Would you give me a definition DI. of that? Give me a definition. Sir, of I'm that. asking you a question. No, no, a you very have to define it. Define, the, define it for me, if you. I would. just defined it, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is only on the ticket because she is a black woman? Well, I can say no. I think it's maybe a little bit different. So, uh, I've known her a long time indirectly, not directly, very much, and she was always of Indian heritage, and she was only promoting Indian heritage. I didn't know she was black until a number of years ago when she happened to turn black, and now she wants to be known as black. Yo, he's so at a black know, she conference, she too. Black? Yeah. She has always like, identified you know as a black woman. I respect she went to a either black one. college. I respect either one, but she Whoa. obviously doesn't, because she was Indian all the way, and then all of a sudden she made a turn, and she went she became a black person. Just to be clear, sir, do and you I believe think, that I think she is somebody a... should look into that, too, when you ask 
a continue in a very hostile, nasty tone. It's a direct question, sir. Do you believe that Vice President Kamala Harris is a DEI hire, as I, some Republicans I really don't have know. said? I mean, I really don't know. Could be. Could be. There are some. Dude, the way he, the way he says turns and she turned into a black woman. Yeah. <laughs> He's fucking nuts, bro. Dude, she oh. she decided to turn black. <laughs> like he pauses. Yeah, dude. And that was at like uh, I forgot what they called it, but it was in Atlanta. It was like this this huge black uh, conference yeah. thing, and he actually expected Kamala to be there. He was told that Kamala would be there, and that's why he showed up. And they mm -hmm. lied to him. Yeah. And I saw the beginning of that. Apparently. Apparently the interviewers were like thirty minutes late. He was there on time. Yeah, and they were late, and then they start off yeah. with like an insulting question to him. The worst. Yeah, and he was like, yeah. "This is how this is how we were, we're doing this." Yeah. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why people even attempt it with him. Like, why are you? <clears throat> right. You know you're gonna get fucking torn. Yeah, he's ready. Park. He's ready for business, bro. He's ready for business. I don't get it. <laughs> you're gonna get torn apart. You're gonna get torched. Know your role. And shut your mouth. <laughs> oh, shit. Know your role and shut your mouth. All the people that were saying Joe Biden was amazing and still held it together and was leading that room and are the same people telling you that she's a, she's a great candidate. Yeah. And she's going to do great things. They're the same people. Yep. Same exact people. Yep. So if we could all see through the bullshit when he was running for president still, that the guy was in his own world, not fit to be president. And they were telling you it was, it takes a special kind of person not to be able to see that during that time, she had the lowest approval rating. She's done nothing. She's absolutely ruined our borders, uh, that she's going to do good things for this country. Yeah. That's all I got to say. If you think that, you haven't been I, I have, I have trouble believing, you know how to tie your shoes. <laughs> uh, you haven't been to the border. I haven't been to Cuba. <laughs> <laughs> all right uh well that's an episode in the books um like Man. share subscribe share guys get the message out there this one's important please it, please and you know what as much as i hate government elections this one i think yeah is important and you know what if you go out to eat and they fuck up your order they bring you something so delicious you can't be mad anymore by all means Continue to give them your business. Forgive them. Forgive them for fucking up your order. Godspeed, bro. Godspeed. You've reached the offices of the Godspeed podcast. We are currently closed. Please leave your information and someone will return your call within 24 business days. Thank you. I'm going to say what a lot of these po folks aren't saying. I'm just going to say it. If you think that there is consensus among the people who want Joe Biden to leave, that Kamala, that they will support Kamala, Vice President Harris, you would be mistaken. And I'm gonna say that because if they're gonna come out and say all their little things on background off, off the record, but they're not gonna be fully honest, I'm gonna be honest for them. I'm in these rooms. I see what they say in conversations. A lot of them are not just interested in removing the president. They are interested in removing the whole ticket. <laughs>